Hello and welcome back for match two of our uh, PPTQ, our Devastation Draft League thing. Uh, I think we've got a good hand here. We have all three colors, which is nice, a Manolith. Um, a little bit light on things to do, but we can cycle away our Desert of the True a little bit later. I think this is definitely a keep. Alright, so, uh, fun story. Some of you may remember me playing 70... Oh, actually, I don't know if I ever posted that. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, my first... PTQ event I ever did. Um, I didn't post the seal, but I did post the top eight draft. That's right. In any case, I played seventy-seven twenty during that uh, P PTQ, and he is the only player I lost to during the sealed rounds. So, a little bit of history. There's a grudge match in the works. Oh, there we go. Okay, took a second on the planes there, but I have played him. I have played him recently. Forest. Not surprising given the, uh, the state of sealed. I think I am going to cycle away the Desert of the True here. Um, might as well get in with the fan bearer though. We need double white, not as much as double blue. We already have a Manolith anyway. Let's just find something that's not a land, shall we? Let's see if he has any interaction. He does not. Cycle our desert, and yeah, another land. At least we're not drawing this turn, though. Eh. Alright, we now have more lands than I would like to have. Go ahead and punch my opponent again. I don't think there's really anything that punishes us for swinging into two mana. There was a pause there. I was concerned, but it doesn't look like anything. But it has not F6, for what that's worth. We have a Manolith. Next turn we'll play Hieroglyphic Illuminations, I imagine. Cycling. Ooh, cycles lay claim. That is a definitely a great effect. I'll have to remember that going forward. Not quite as good as Kevin's last word, which we have access to. Ooh. Huh. Wonder if he's actually trying a mill deck or if he's. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, well, might as well play the hieroglyphic illumination, I imagine, here. That's interesting. I, it's possible he just really needed some early drops. He's got a lot of late game, but not much else. Which case, I'm not sure we do super well against the matchup, but it'd be kind of crazy if he's just trying to mill us out. Um, this is a trick here. I can open fire. It's not even that great. You just want to block? I think he's bluffing. Seems very likely he's bluffing. Yeah. I think that's okay. If he has a trick here, it almost certainly keeps him from playing anything else. Yeah. Feral Prowler. Reasonable. So yeah, maybe this is just like a defensive card. Go ahead and cast our uh, Hieroglyphic Illumination, shall we? And Riverwinder. Pretty good with this many lands. Would like something a little bit earlier. Champion of Blitz is a good one. Alright. Let's go ahead and play him right now. Let's see what we can't find. I would love to draw and discard. Okay. So I I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Desert of the Mindful and play land here. I guess let's that gets us up to what? One, two, three, five, six. We're one off striped riverwinder. We have a couple of things to do in the meantime. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna bother trying to cycle the desert and getting more value. I think we want to have at least one land here, so looks reasonable. Let's play this. And we'll play our uh, steward. And pass. And continue up our uh, dirtle game here. We do have a sidewinder coming down the track. And steward of solidarity will start getting slow value too. I'm a little bit worried my opponent's just going to play something absurd going forward. But... Hmm. Open fire on the steward. Reasonable. Okay, Farm to Market's not bad. Mm, this is kind of where I wish I kept a land, though. I guess we just wait, right? 
<laughs> Alright. Well, we'll just pause. Maybe interact with my opponent on his turn. But... Not gonna do a whole heck of a lot. Tenacious Hunter. That is a good one. Okay. Can't really do much about it. There's a land, though. We can play a river winder, or we could play like farm to market and set up. I think we'll just play river winder here. If he does swing into it, we'll just take it. Um, I've got a fan bear that can tap it down repeatedly in the future, and three removal spells in hand. So I don't want to lose our one pretty big threat to a random pump spell or something. But it being hexproof is awfully nice. Raid. Okay. Well. This looks like he's at least thinking about getting in. We'll take it. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so I suppose we swing with the, the River Winder. Do we want to trade in our Champion of Wits as well? Probably. Could let trade up a little bit and then replay it. I mean, let's see. We swing. He has a trick. We can't replay the champion, but we're not going to play anything else, probably. I guess we just leave the champion back. Let's get in with the Riverwinder. Maybe next turn we'll start swinging with champion. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I do want to be able to eternalize this guy at some point, but not quite yet. Okay. Just multi-blocking here. And let's use farm and get rid of this tenacious hunter, shall we? Cool. So, a nice two for one here. And we can even play market when the turn comes around, too. Which means I maybe should have kept the evolving wilds. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oops. Yeah, that was a mistake for sure. Okay, I could have something big here. Sifter worm counts. Okay. Let's see what he's putting on top. Hopefully not playing like Sandworm Convergence or something absurd. That would be a reason to play cards like Seer Last Tomorrow, just to make sure he gets up there. So we do have an Unquenchable Thirst, which does remove it. I think I am going to use uh, Farm to Market here, even though it's a little bit awkward. So bottoms, tops, tops. I look like Elimination on top. Oh, this is Sorcery Speed too, isn't it? So I should have done the last turn. All right, little, little mistakes here and there. Probably will end up costing us in the long run. Oh, like not using the Evolving Wilds. Yeah, that was bad too. Okay, let's just take a step back, relax a little bit. We are still doing fine. Okay, Saving Grace is a little bit interesting. I think that Vizier of the Anointed is a little bit better though. Just pitch those two. Really wish we could throw away that Evolving Wilds. Mistakes. Mistakes. We're going to use the uh, Unquenchable Thirst. And get in with the Riverwinder. And actually probably Champion of Wits. Well, I don't know. I can't decide if we just want to throw this away or not. I even care all that much. We're gonna have stuff to do for the next couple of turns is the main thing. But maybe it's just not as good as getting our drop. Eh, I still don't think we just throw it away. Okay, probably just draw in here. Reasonable. I'm, I'm gonna use my Evolving Wilds this next turn though. Hopefully we don't get punished for not cracking that. Sifter Worm, don't do it. God for us, gift. Yeah, that's good. It's gonna be hard to work our way through that. Um, let's go get a lanes, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Right now, my opponent's got three spells in hand, one of which gives him value when it dies. Yep. Interesting, just getting in. Yeah, I think I do like blocking now. It's unlikely to gain us more than two life in the future. 
bringing it back is going to be pretty powerful at some point. Alright, so right now we have 8 mana. We could play Sandblast and the Vizier in the same turn. We could just bring back the Champion and trade. That might be best. Okay, I get to draw. Okay, discard two cards. I think we're gonna get rid of these two. Kept his last words a little bit of nice security. Okay. Yeah, Godfrey's gift is gonna be tough to beat. Zero the Anoint, it's nice to. Wonder what he's gonna go and grab. Ooh, wild pouncer. Okay, we're gonna steal that though. I imagine he brings that back. Does it gain haste forever? Ah, until end of turn. Dang. We will trade. I think as painful as it's going to be, we actually kind of have to work through my opponent on a, uh, a value basis here. Okay. And I don't know, that might not even be realistic, but I don't think we can really afford to race either. Okay, Traveler's Amulet. Not too big of an effect. Okay, now we have nine mana, so we play the Vizier, Capnet's Last Word. That's it. I think we're going to be hard pressed to find something better to steal than the, the Pouncer. Or for Devil Strike, especially with some backup removal spells, is pretty great. It's definitely possible he's playing like an unsummon or something, but then it's still a two for one. Well, kind of a two for one. This doesn't count as. A... Yeah, this isn't actually eternalizing, which is nice. So he doesn't get value every turn. We would love to use the ability. Thank you. And we actually get to use it this time. Okay, let's go ahead and steal this guy. This does put us down for two turns. This is just a 4-4 double strike is going to be huge, I think, though. And the Riverwinder is a pretty nice blocker for his last couple of Eternalized cards. Oh, actually, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe we should have taken my opponent's Godfrey's gift. Yeah, that might have been better. We don't have tons of creatures. I always forget that I can grab uh, artifacts. Yeah, that was almost certainly a mistake. Yeah, ooh, well, yeah, that was a pretty big misplay. I was like, it's Pouncer, that's great. Yeah, just take the gift. Pouncer still trades with the Riverwinder. We still get to bring everything back. Yeah, we could lose this game. That was pretty big. Possibly doesn't have tons of creatures, but even so. I'd like to say I was just doing it for fun, right? Try and see if we can get through my opponent, but... Yeah, that was not good. Not good. Millis? We're at seven. Or a beetle. Okay. Um, wow. So yeah, that's gonna mill us out. Sandblast won't be able to kill it. Should've gotten Godfrey's gift. Mistakes. Mistakes with snakes. Hmm. Ghost Tribute's Manolith. Oh, man. I'm just dying from the value over here. Get in for five, or at least try to. I imagine he just double blocks. Yeah. Or 
we're gonna mill ourselves. Oh, I forget you can't have six then. Well, that was a pretty big misplay, especially because he couldn't have gone back to Seer. Yeah, I think we could have won this game. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. This isn't sorcery speed, is it? Yeah, he just mills us next turn, that's it, right? We have any removal spells we could find? I don't think so. But we'll, we'll give it one more draw, in case I'm forgetting something. Still, then we have to win three turns. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. We've already used Unquenchable Thirst. Farm to market don't work. I think we are out of this game. Well, Angler Drake actually buys us time. That's true. So does uh, Earth. But I think I'd rather just swing. Balance. We're going to get two more draws. Problem is, if we use Heaven Earth, it kills off all of my opponent's things. Too. All of our things, too. Hunter doesn't survive miraculously. Well, I could use Shafet Dunes. Sack it, make it live. How much mana do we need for that? Because this costs us six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're short there. Okay, so we use Angler Drake for six, and we have three available. Let's swing with our Pouncer. Angler Drake was a good draw, though. Oh, man. Can't believe we stole the Pouncer. <laughs> mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Get two more draws. Remove that. Yes. Our Gust Walker. Probably cycle River Serpent because we're just not gonna have enough turns to get there. Because maybe we should have done that earlier. If there's any way we can get the Adorn Pouncer through, we could win, but it's just gonna be eating through chump blockers for a bit. Open fire looks pretty bad against all of the options he's got. Ah, and he's got a flyer. Yeah, it's just gonna take too long to chew through these. Ooh, the random mill at the end there did a pretty good work. Let's cycle the uh, river serpent. And not stealing the gift was. Costly. Um, any way we can sneak our way through here. We've got no more cards in the deck. We blow up the board, but our stuff dies too. Except for the flyers. Yeah, that is GG. Alright, I'm fairly confident we could have won that game if I'd played better. But we'll dust off, see if we can take our second and third games here. The Seer Last Tomorrow looked pretty good for my opponent, but I don't think it's real great for me. Even the incidental mill, just against an army of four forces, isn't going to be that great. Do we have anything random we can bring in that hoses that, other than um, Kepnet's Last Word, which obviously is a pretty good answer? I think my opponent's just going a little bit bigger than we are. I don't think there's anything we can really change, though. Survivor, I guess we have some discard. It gets through for some points of damage. It's better than like the steward. I don't think so though. All right, let's keep it as is. I would like to play first. Um, I think I'll keep. Hands a little bit choppy. We have the desert of the mindful first. Then we'll cycle the hieroglyphic illumination and play the island. We need to find. I guess we'll probably cycle the river ship, but actually. We need to find white for the Sun Surge Champion. We have a lot of cycling, though. We have quite a few draws before we need to hit something. Let's cycle this guy right away. 
Okay. Well, we can still cycle a couple more things. Okay, opponent cycles an illumination. Possible he's a little bit tight on land too. Not so tight that he missed his second land drop though. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna get rid of the illumin. Yeah, maybe the river winder's a long ways off. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's play our champion. Yeah, cycle enough, you get there, right? Alright, so Pump does have Hope Tender, which can potentially ramp out something kind of scary here, but Tenacious Hunter obviously would be pretty good. We can play a Vizier and block Weaver of Currents. Eh, okay. Call me scared. Let's go ahead and swing with our champion. I imagine he doesn't block here. It's a free attack for us. Play a Vizier. Problem is, I don't think we can realistically beat Godfrey's Gift. Yes, I would love to use the ability without finding Kefnet's last word. But we could, could find that. It's not without reason. Pwn's got six mana this turn, even without a land, though. Blah. Manalith. Okay. There's that pouncer we're so worried about. Alright, there's a mana of our own. We'll probably cast Heaven for zero. Also, we wipe the board thereafter. Could use Heart of the Illumination to try and find a land, but I don't think that's that absurd. He blocks with both. Probably just want to kill one. In which case, I should swing with both, probably. I don't care about the two life, I don't think that much. I kind of would like to kill the Hope Tender. That seems not terrible. But this doesn't let you get... Manolith doesn't do it, just lands. Okay. And we open fire on the Tender here. Oh! And a Manolith up. That's stick too. Yeah, I've been, been playing pretty choppily. But I'm going to use Sandblast to keep it alive here. Sketchy for sure. That was almost certainly not our best play that turn. We did remove some of his blockers. He's a long ways off using the Adorn Pouncer, and maybe a long ways off using. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that still wasn't that bad. It was not great though. Using Open Power would have been dramatically better. Eh, well, just wants to hit and doesn't have anything better to do is a good sign for us. It probably increases the odds he has. Um, not Pharaoh's gift, but Kevin's last word actually would be pretty good too. He does have a lay claim though, so he potentially could steal it back, which is kind of entertaining. Crunch. And Manolith. Might cast Heaven for zero here. I don't think that's the worst choice. Raid. Okay. So we have a tough time casting our Earth now. Open fire is still reasonable. We have two things that find in the deck. Okay, Pouncer. We just steal it and hope that God Pharaoh's gifts is gonna be enough? Probably. Okay, that does find red. A little bit interesting that Kevin's last word actually kind of hoses Evolving Wilds. But I think we just take it. Very similar play. Hope these guys are enough to 
punch through for the last little bits of damage. We do have an open fire, which isn't going to find a mountain. So there's no real point in cracking the Evolving Wilds this turn. God Pro's Gift? It's likely. Oh, Lake Lane. Okay, it just steals it back. Okay, so we're going to take a lot of damage here. We actually do have Earth up now. Um, but we can't cast Heaven unless we find another Manolith. Ooh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Hmm. So it'll take a lot, eight to be precise here. Okay, Feral Prowler is fine. Go ahead and crack this. And find Island, I suppose. Well, Fenbear is pretty good against the Adorned Bouncer, which is nice. We'll probably throw the Sun Scourge Champion in front this time. Um. No particularly good attacks here. Don't really love killing off these guys with my open fire. I'm just gonna use Hieroglyphic Illumination at the end of the turn. Fire, all right. Yeah. yeah definitely in jump block mode now. Jump block for days. Dornpouncer is a good one. Couple of lands. Steward. The steward helps chump block. We just cast Champion of Wits here. It's probably correct. And then probably chump block with the Vizier. Alternatively, we could bring out the steward. I guess do we even care about chump blocking against this guy? We got into two. I don't think that matters much more than being at ten. We do want to set up a block. Does this cost four to bring out? Probably want to do that next turn. Champion. Draw five, discard two. Ah, I really regret how we played out last game. Mistakes, mistakes. I already have a couple of lands to pitch, which is nice. Yes, we'd like to use that ability. Um, I guess we'd rather have more blue, right? Angler Drake's good. That will let us interact with the Dorn Pouncer next turn. So in that case, we may want to block more defensively, because we don't want to die to a random trick. We have a lot of value in our hand now. Do we care about the card more? Probably not. We're not going to bring it back for a minute. I think we'd rather have a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, Amulet. Mostly just hoping he doesn't find Godfrey's gift at this point. Although, at least the Adorn Pouncer doesn't work super well. Like, this is his, probably his biggest threat, and we, we're gonna get rid of it here, which is nice. Um, probably want to leave a Formed Mark in Saving Grace, or I guess just Saving Grace in that case, right? Or we could play the steward. That's actually maybe better. Oh, counterspell? Oh, destroyed. Okay, well, we leave up saving grace and trade. 
That's the plan then. Wow, that was pretty good for my opponent. Still do have a lot of value in our hand. Saving Grace does keep us alive. I want to do this before I declare blockers. Casey's got a trick. Okay. This is nice. Gets us lets us trade. Kind of fogs for the turn. Eh. Cool. We play the Riverwinder next turn. Still has grayed out to Godfro's gift, but. You have another counter spell? What are the odds? Six, nine. So I guess you should play the steward first. The off chance he has something. Should have done that last turn, probably. But I guess if we'd done that first and he hadn't countered it, we'd have had to chump block less effectively. Okay, cool. Got some good resolved creatures here. If the Riverwinder ever hits him, open fire does it. So which means Manolith is not quite lethal yet, but really close. We have to get rid of Heaven. I could have done that earlier. Maybe I should have. When he killed off our Manolith, I could have responded with it. We'll go ahead and hit with our Riverwinder. That Gustwalker and Sunscourge Champion. And discard an earth. Gain some life. And hopefully set us up to kill with open fire this turn. He's probably needs like a board wipe or something. So we did manage to fight our way through this one. We don't have tons of time left. Okay, Ritualist is pretty good. Um, oh, I missed a Steward activation there. That would have been lethal. Uh, I guess not if he chump blocks with both anyway. Go with everything. He blocks, blocks. And open fire kills him, right? I guess it won't matter. Man, we played super sloppy this game, though. Well, let's play super sloppy this match so far. Eh. Okay, we have lethal there. At least potentially. Removes the Gustwalker, maybe? Walker. Okay. Goes down to two. The open fire him. That shouldn't do it, I imagine. Alright. One, one, five minutes left. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. I always play too slowly. You should get a bonus for uh, sideboarding quickly, right? That's the way this game works. I wonder, actually, if we take that out. Um, maybe we don't want Heaven to Earth. It's maybe not the best, and if he's blowing up our mana list, it hurts us anyway. Maybe Cunning Survivor is a little bit better. Gets through for a couple points of damage, which could be relevant. Okay, uh, I think this hand is keepable. It's pretty high power level. We might have to cycle away our elimination, but let's keep it. I guess we'll probably cycle the River Serpent first. It's funny that I always trigger out in the elimination to begin with, but... We need to find our lands for sure. If we find lands, this hand is very good. Cycle eliminations, or the river serpent rather. Hey, land was good there. 
Lair Steward. Pass. And let's see if he has some sort of interaction. Could just like open fire here. Not bad. Let's play our Champion of Wits. Yes, we would. Um, what do we pitch here? Donald Saban's fine. Does get in for quick damage. I think we get rid of the Riverwinder. And maybe open fire is just sketchy. Um, yeah, we have Sandblast in hand. All right. Opponent says, be right back. Can't really afford to turn our head, though. Can't lose precious time. I think this is still kind of a long shot to win, but my opponent might be kind of stuck on um, a bad mulligan, too. So he's had three lands and open fire. I don't know. Not sure if that's real indicative of a good or a bad hand. Open fire kind of means he's maybe more likely to keep, but... He has a seer. Good follow-up. We're just gonna... Ooh. I think we're just gonna dump the Dauntless Aven here. Start getting it in the air. Manolith was tempting for sure, though. Okay. Survivor's Encampment. I didn't see a whole ton of desert synergies. Oh. You're really thinking of... Yeah, okay. Just splashing. Not actually trying to get anything going there. Ritualist. That's possible my opponent does have the God Pharaoh's Gift. In which case, we're very happy because we have the Cabinet's last word. We could swing with everything and use Sandblast. I think I just like hitting with the Manolith, though. Could you only could use Sandblast and kill off the Ritualist? Yeah, it's probably actually okay. Okay, no blocks. I like no blocks. It means he probably has it. Well, that's not even that absurd for him, though. At least at this point. Okay, well, we can use Saving Grace. If okay, my opponent tries to, like, shoot our Aven, we definitely will do that. What you got? Gift of Paradise. Okay. Getting some life. And you can play literally anything forever now. Tenacious Hunter. Okay. Not something I'm going to steal, I don't think. Ooh, Vizier the Anointed is good. Let's get in with our Dauntless Aven here. Take my point down to 17, we'll play our Vizier. Sunscrew Champion and pass. And we have a, a good double block against the Hunter here if he wants to come in. We'll play. We are gonna just play that. Um, I can go ahead and swing with our Dauntless Aven and plan on using Hieroglyphic Illumination. Storm to market, and we'll just pass. And use Illuminations at the end of his turn. It's possible he uses like market to fix draws here. <laughs> All right, so we can bring back Sunscrew Champion, which is pretty good. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't afford to play Manolith too, right? 
Oh, no, we can. Yeah, because it only costs us two mana, in effect. This guy comes back for four, yeah. Oh, man, I thought we took out the Heaven Earth. I guess maybe we didn't sideboard quite in time. I won't maybe debate encountering this. He can't counter the Sunscourge Champion, which is kind of nice. Okay, draw some. Punchable Thirst is great. But you can start getting in next turn too, which is good. No response to the end of my opponent's turn. No play. Okay. Let's just go ahead and unquenchable thirst that guy. Or do we want to? Yeah, probably. Let's play with the champion. Counter that. Okay. Go ahead and swing. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and sandblast him. Pass. Can't unfortunately really F6 with saving grace in hand. Just kind of risky. Pharaoh's gift? Come on, do it. You know you want to do it. Play claim. Okay. We're just going to wipe the board, man. Earth for one. Huh. Cute. And... And just wipe the board here. And pass. And we'll get to bring back our uh, Champion of Wits next turn. Still only have a minute and a half though. We are really low on time. Okay, draws two, discards two. We had more time. Okay, pitch to Traveler's Amulet and Island. Yes, we would love to draw. Pitch a couple of lands. A fan bear. F6. We have a couple of river winders for a couple of turns. That's gonna be pretty great. We can always steal anything great my opponent plays. Like God Pharaoh's Gift, for instance. He's already used his light claim. Go ahead and crunch with the champion. Riverwinder. Got a counterspell again? Yes. Okay. Nope. Can't pay it. Pass. I'm tapping down my opponent's Weaver. Fifty-one seconds. Not much. Not much. Took a long time on the first game. Oh, the regret. A braid. Okay. Ask this guy. Uh, 
punch my opponent, have Angler Drake, hopefully that's enough next turn. And maybe I'll just try and play the reflex game if my opponent starts tapping mana to shoot something. Angler drink. See if that's enough. Come on, get my opponent dead, get him dead. Ooh, we got him. Oh wow, that was tight and way tighter than it needed to be. Both on time and the fact that we could have played that first game way better. I just completely spaced the Kevin's last word hit artifacts, but whew, happy to sneak out the victory there. Uh, see you guys for match three.